Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to uh, Brockton City Hall. As today, we honor our national flag, it being Flag Day. I'm so excited to be here today. As you know, uh, we will always here in the city of Brockton recognize all the diversity and all the wonderful people that make up our city of champions. I want to recognize and thank Senator Michael Brady and Councilor Ladge slash State Representative Rita Mendes for being here as well. Uh, just earlier this week, we, we recognized and proudly raised the Philippines flag. But today, it's the United States of America's flag. And so all of you should be commended for joining us here today. We will be having a special guest in a few minutes. He's coming here now. We'll be singing our national anthem. But again, my name is Robert Sullivan, and I am the uh, proud mayor of the city of Brockton. Uh, just to give some history, uh, Flag Day commemorates the adoption of the flag of the United States of America on June 14th in the year 1777 by resolution of the Second Continental Congress. The flag re uh, resolution stated, quote, resolved that the flag of the 13 United States be 13 stripes, alternate red and white, that the union be 13 stars, white in a blue field representing a new constellation, unquote. The 50 stars of the flag represents the 50 United States that make up our nation. The 13 stripes represents the 13 British colonies that declared independence from Great Britain and thus became the first states in the United States of America. Each color on our flag has a meaning. White is for pure intentions and high ideals. Red is for hardiness and valor. Blue signifies vigilance, perseverance, and justice. There was no official arrangement of stars specified in the 1777 resolution, which is why there are so many historic styles of the flag. In 1912, President William Taft signed a presidential executive order which provided the arrangement of the stars in horizontal flows. When, the, when a new state is added, the new flag becomes official on July 4th of that year, our national holiday. The curtain. Uh, the current iteration uh, of the flag with 50 stars is the longest running version in the amount of 63 years. The state of Hawaii became a state in 1960 and the 50 star flag became official on July 4th of that year. Originally the flag was rarely seen outside of military forts, government buildings and ships until the Civil War. After Fort Sumner in the year 1861, flag mania as it was called gripped the nation it be, really became part of our national identity. Now it's common to see the flag anywhere and everywhere, from people's residence, front porches, retail establish, establishments, and even on the back of cars, vis-a-vis -vis car stickers. The proper way to dispose of a flag that is tattered or torn is to burn it. You can bring an old flag to the War Memorial here in the city of Brockton. You can also bring it uh, up on North Pearl Street to the Historic Society where an Eagle Scout project actually has a, a flag depository. It almost looks like a U.S. Uh, a mailbox, and you can bring flags there, uh, where then they will burn them periodically. I'm going to now read the official proclamation. We will then have the CFO, uh, Troy Clarkson, sing the national anthem. I will invite the state senator and state rep to say a few words. Mayor's proclamation. Whereas on June 14, 1777, the Continental Congress adopted a resolution stating that quote, the flag of the United States be 13 alternate stripes of red and blue, and that the Union be 13 stars, white and a blue field, again, representing a new constellation. Whereas June 14th, 1877, the first Flag Day observance was held on the 100th anniversary of the adoption of our Stars and Stripes. Whereas in 1916, President Woodrow Wilson issued a proclamation that officially established June 14th in our country as Flag Day. Whereas in the year 1949, the United States Congress officially designated June 14th as Flag Day, a national day of observance, which was proudly signed into law by President Harry S. Truman. Whereas the United States flag is a, sur is a symbol, a proud symbol of our country's journey, and whereas June 14th in the year 2023 marks the 246th birthday of our national flag. Now, therefore, I, Robert F. Sullivan, as the proud mayor of the city of Brockton, hereby proclaim today, June 14, 2023, in our proud city of champions as Flag Day, and I respectfully, humbly urge all residents in our fine city to join me proudly in observing this day. And I sign and seal it today, June 14, 2023, Robert F. Sullivan, mayor of the city of Brockton. So that is the official mayoral proclamation. I'm now going to ask Mr. Troy Claxon, the city CFO, to come and sing our national anthem. Thank you.
Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the Thank you, Mr. CFO. Unbelievable. Troy uh, sang the first rendition at the State of the City Address that I gave at Brockton High School on the Carol Thomas and Vinnie McCrenna stage in Nelson Auditorium. Uh, he also was selected recently by the Boston Red Sox to sing the Canadian anthem at Fenway Park. Troy, let's give him another round of applause. Thank you. I do so also want to recognize uh, Min Tran is here on behalf of uh, Plymouth County District Attorney Cruz, Tim Cruz. Uh, the other Tim Cruz, our city clerk, is here. We have a lot of uh, wonderful uh, city employees, school employees being here today. I see Chief Brian Nardelli is here. I know Chief Brenda Perez is en route. Uh, Sydney Merrill, Chief of Staff, my team in the mayor's office. I want to thank you all. But at this time, I'm going to ask Senator Mike Brady to come to the podium and say some words. Senator. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and thank you for hosting this commemorative occasion to honor our flag. I want to thank all the veterans that fought and died for the right to protect our flag day in and day out, and thank all those veterans who are currently serving our country to uh, protect our freedom. And I'm just so honored to be here, and thank you all for coming out today to commemorate Flag Day. God bless you all. Thank you, Senator. Representative Mendez, please. I am just so honored to be here today because this is uh, one of my favorite events. And um, it's one thing to be born in this country, and then you learn as you're growing up the meaning of the flag and what it stands and all the people that fought to protect uh, the freedom. And it's another thing to be welcome in this country and to choose to have this flag as your own flag, to choose this as your country. And you see more and more people here in the United States taking that oath of allegiance, taking that pledge, to recognize the American flag as your own flag with pride. And you see it more and more people even willing to lose their lives trying to come to this country because they believe in this flag. They believe in this freedom. They believe in our message. And we are here every day um, honoring the flag, honoring what it represents, and honoring what um, our mission is to the rest of the world that looks up to us and know that we have this flag today. And it's in the back of men and women that fought every day for our freedom for us to be here. So I'm just so honored that I chose this flag as my flag. And I just thank you, Mayor, thank for you, doing ma this. And thank you all of you for being here today. Thank you. <laughs> I do, uh, I do want to thank, again, all the veterans. If you're a veteran, do you mind raising your hand, please? Thank you for your service. Thank you. I mean, there are so many people here today uh, that in an, every single day try to make the city of Brockton and the Commonwealth a better, uh, really a better place to live and thrive and work. And so I want to just thank you all for being here. Um, I really, truly appreciate it. Uh, I also am really pleased to see um, Carla Femini and Chris Femini for being here, and Elaine Kelly and Carol Thomas again. Um, really just unbelievable educators and, and wonderful Brocktonians, so thank you for joining us. Suzanne McCormick uh, has coordinated this event today, and I also have to be um, thankful of all the custodians. We have a lot of flag raisings, 
to really represent the wonderful diversity. And it wouldn't happen without the work of Jim Pluff's team and the custodial. So thank you, Mr. Pluff, and your team. So at this time, I'm, I'm going to ask anybody and everybody to please join us, uh, and we will proudly raise the American flag. Thank you. So that officially concludes our, our ceremony, but Flag Day is all day. So uh, enjoy this wonderful day, this wonderful weather. I also, uh, I also have to thank uh, Brockton Community Access for always filming our wonderful uh, community endeavors. So have a great day. God bless the United States of America, our city of champions, and our Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Be well, everybody. Thank you.